What's happening, YouTube? Hack is Fabrication and then some welcome back on a new episode. Listen, uh, not really, but, you know, um, right now, uh, the life build, so, just to show you, this is why I don't do too much editing in my videos, because you don't really get what goes on in shop life, so, I made a mistake, there you go, uh, set it up higher, see that there, made the brass piece fail. You know why I made the brass piece fail? Because it was going into steel. I had a tooth out interfere. Uh, and I was pushing on the outside of it. I didn't heat the steel up first. Kabloom. Got another piece on the way. Uh, when we get it, we make it right. But, <sighs> probably shouldn't have been two thou either. Probably should have only been a thou. But, I'm trying to make it to where it doesn't come up out of there, you know? So, with that being said, at this point, we're on standby on the vice build, and we are doing, um, scrap parts for the milling machine. Yes, yes, scrap parts. So, you know, on eBay, they, uh, advertise for these. They go on the Sherline mill and the head. Well, the problem is, what I did was, I was a jaw off on my three-jaw chuck, and I put it in the three-jaw chuck. And it oblonged a hole. So now I just won't, 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 won't on my milling machine. That's not cool. Okay. So that's the scrap one. But we're making a new one. And we know that we can get there. Okay. It worked. It went on. Problem is. The daggone tailstock on the, on the lathe again. Something on this lathe is out of alignment. So we're seeing. I'm not sure about that yet. Anyway, I got you behind the milling machine now. We got you in, in, in the, um, the machining area. And I kind of like this setup. This is why. I think you got a straight shot. see something here.
work the way you're going to machine shop to get one piece of metal down to the size you need to get it to. Woo! I like to call autopilot, right? Um, don't feel like you can just walk away from the lady anytime because the next thing you know, it'll be creeping right up on that truck and you're going to have a crash lady. And it's not worth crashing when you can just pay attention to what you're doing. Alright? So, needless to say, uh, We're gonna keep on writing this down. Huh?
space here. I'll blow it if we can and get up in here, hopefully. family so stay tuned to part two where we uh where we get them down to size and we get them uh down to ready for the scrap bin i mean uh ready for the milling machine <laughs> we're not trying to ring up too many of them um <clears throat> it's a three quarter by 16 tap i'm having to use a three quarter by 10 my three quarter by 16 the tip of it is dull so i can't get it deep enough to where it'll cut threads but I do have, whoa, Jackson. I do have my three quarter by ten on my little, uh, on my little, uh, tap handle here. <laughs> my little, it's just my, it's my little tap handle. I like this one. It's my baby. It's got a little brother. It's got a little tap handle brother and it's got a little die handle brother. And I got the, the big big brothers to them too. But anyway, man, um, so that's what we're working on right now. We're working on getting this milling machine together. I mean, we got a fly cutter and everything, but you know, when you get up to certain style in mills and stuff like that, they don't work as well. You, you understand what I'm saying? Like, uh, you know, this is a 5 8 diameter. That's what this says. 5 16, sorry. 5 16 diameter. Right? But that's there. That's not your stud. So, you know, and having the account for things like that, you don't want, you don't want too much, too much stick out. You don't want, um, you know, everything's got to be cylindrical. You don't want no wobble. Wobble will throw your, your, your bearings out. Mm, not good. Not good at all. So, um, yeah, we're, we're just, uh, let me tell you something. For a uh, one-inch cutter adapter for the Sherline mill off of eBay, Somebody making it is $51 and some change. So 53 bucks when you're done paying for it. Let me ask you a question. If you own a lathe 
and you own a mill, why would you start buying stuff that you that you can make? It's an adapter. I can make a fly cutter now. On the other hand, you know, a fly cutter. Uh, and they didn't even make that right. I had to put this out on a tilt in order to get that to cut right. Their their angle or their pitch on this is wrong. It was wrong. I know that you're supposed to have a pitch on a fly cutter. It's supposed to sit on a certain type of angle in order for that cutter to come out. That's the only thing that touches is that just that cutter, just that cutter. Well, if you look at the pitch of this, right, and you really look at it, look at how I got it angled, and look at the, the thing of it, right? It, there's no pitch on that at all. So, you know, you just gotta do what you gotta do and make it work. You can make it work. Make it happen. Believe that. You can make it happen. All these respects says we'll make it happen, brother. I can't sit back and not let it happen. Uh, not if I know how to do it. And I mean, yeah, there's a lot of stuff I'm still learning about machining. It really is. I mean, I was an operator. I didn't know no lathe. I never was no manual lathe operator and stuff. I, I didn't do none of that, man. I wasn't none of that. I never claimed to be. I said, you hear me? I said that I loved machining. And I was going to do whatever it took in order to be a machinist. And you know what I said? I said, if they won't let me into a machine shop, I'm going to bring a machine shop to me. Ain't that what I said? That's what I said. I remember what I said. Of course I remember what I said. So, yeah, look at that. That is a Morse 1 adapter, ain't it? So now, with that being said, we don't quit. We don't surrender. We don't know how to give up. If we did that, well, I'd be in active addiction still. Let me tell you something. You know today's Sunday? I leave tomorrow from North Carolina. After a 40 hour week, paying out everything that I paid out, I woke up Sunday morning with $33 in my name. I started to lose my mind. But I never had a thought of relapse. It's not an option. It gets worse when you relapse, whether you know it or not. It don't get better. That first 24 hours might be better. That first initial high. But after that, it's a wrap, bub. Put it up. Jig is up. Yo, pick your battles wisely. Choose how you move. And select the moves you move. With wisdom. If you're a man of wisdom, you understand what I meant by that. Don't act hastily. No spontaneous movements. Move lightly with death strokes. You dig what I'm saying? Like, make your opponent feel that you're there. Make him feel that you're there. Atkins Fabrication and then some. Hey, y'all, st st thanks for tuning in, man. We're going to get this bad boy down to size right here, right? And we're going to bring it back. You can still see how pretty big that is right there. And we're going to bring it on back and get it down to size where we can start messing around with it a little more. And uh, we'll take it from there. There's the, uh, there she is right there, the Sherline, baby. Yeah. Hey, Axis. Hey, Axis. AXS machine. I'm blessed every day, man.
and never go back again. I, you know why? Everything that I've built here, all this, you hear me? All this, it's all gone, buddy. Every bit of it is gone, buddy. There is no Agnes fabrication. There is no Agnes. There is no none of that. We're out of here, bro. You know what I'm saying? Packing it up, selling it all. It's an all must go sale. Ain't none of that. This life I built now, I love my life, man. I love it. I love being clean and sober. I love being making these videos for you guys that we can, uh, you know, learn from one another while we entertain one another. I love that. Nowhere on this earth do we make videos to entertain one another while we learn from one another. Each one teach one. Atkins Fabrication and then some, man. Thanks along for signing up, you know, signing in. And hey, do me a favor if you like what you've seen. You know, we're, we're working on this here, man. Each one teach one. If you like what you've seen, hit that subscribe button for me, man. Give me a thumbs up. Or a thumbs down. Let me know what you think, man. Any any kind of um suggestions that you may have, man. Leave them down there in the comment section, man. If, if they if, if they hold some weight, we'll make it happen. And that's my word. CEO Atkins Fabrication. Yeah, I got an answer for it, pup. <laughs> Anything, man. Anything you guys need, man. Hit me up. PeterAggins77 at gmail.com. Thank you. Have a great work week. And I'll hit y'all back when I get back from North Carolina, man. Maybe I'll shoot some footage. Y'all have a great one. I'm out.